Welcome to New Zealand's Biggest Gap Year. It's an epic challenge that my partner Laura and I decided to tackle a couple of years ago. We have to do 365 activities all around New Zealand in only 365 days. This is day 91. And today, after tiptoeing around the Abel Tasman National Park for quite a while, we are finally heading right in the heart of the action, where we're joining Abel Tasman Eco Tour for, well, an Eco Tour in Abel Tasman. After this video, join me for uh, me answering the questions that you had the first time we published it. See you then! We are driving up Takaka Hill today to the meeting point of the Abel Tasman Eco Tours. The weather looks like it is going to be a little bit rainy today, so any moment now I think it's going to be torrential rain. As the good people that we are, we arrive well early and this gives us a little bit of time to play with the local wildlife or uh, maybe not so wide, they came really close to us and they were staring at us more than we stared at them. And then we hop on the van with Abel Tasman Eco Tools and this takes us through a thick dense forest nearby which surprisingly ends up opening a massive farmland. The drive takes us through Canaan Downs, which in fact was a Lord of the Rings filming location. It's also a place where a famous festival takes place every year and this place looks like it could be a pretty cool place to have a festival. But that's not what we're here for, we are here for hiking. The first section of the walk is through farmlands, but this gives us a great opportunity to see how broken the land is. In New Zealand, there is a lot of earthquake, most of them unnoticeable to humans, so don't be afraid of coming to travel here, but there is a lot of them and this shapes the land. And it's really, really striking right here to see the land completely broken in many parts by the continuous movements of the earth. So right now Faye and Stu are looking for some um, carnivorous snail that are only found in New Zealand. Another point of interest during our walk through the farmlands is botanical. Faye is showing us a lot of different plants that were used by the early Maoris, both as medicinal purposes as well as food sources. It's fascinating to see how much they were using the lands oh, yeah. for their survival. We also learn about the conservation of the area and Stu shows us what a possum trap looks like because yes, in New Zealand, possums are considered a pest. As we make our way into the Abel Tasman National Park, the vegetation gets denser and denser and this is because this is the more ancient part of the forest. This is a part of the Abel Tasman National Park that not many people get to explore. When you think of this national park, you think of the beaches, but actually there are some really awesome forested areas. Stu, our other guide, has some awesome tricks to attract wildlife and soon enough we get to see up close a little robin. This South Island robin is so cute and he hanged out with us for so long, that was really cool. We then head back on the track, which I have to say is pretty rough. It's not often that we get to hike on a track which is almost fully submerged of water, rocks and roots. Faye is also taking the time to show us small plants that were used by early Maoris. Those really long sticky plants were used as spears or ropes. They had really made the most of everything. This track is really rugged and at some points there isn't even a track so it's a good job that we actually have some guides here to show us the way. So we look at some more plants, some fungus growing on the trees and we even get the opportunity to taste some plants. Hi Laura, is hope it's all? I'm getting all the juice out. guy last, uh, an American guy last summer. Oh um, no. Into his herbal pharmaceuticals. <laughs> and um, he went and researched it and sent me all this stuff. And, it's not yeah. as bad as aloe vera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it's good for you. Mmm, oh, tasty stuff. So it looks like Laura is not really a big fan of the horror pito. 
Back on our way, I am still keeping an eye out to find the carnivorous snail. I'm really looking forward to see that beast. I did not know that snail could eat anything else than plants and I really want to see one. Can you give me the sense? Okay, so here, look at that there, we found a carnivorous snail. It's called a poelephanta and it's a native snail. New Zealand here, as far as I know, just the only carnivorous snail in the world. It looks like this snail has been eaten up by a native bird called a weka. But these snails are known for eating a few things too. In fact, they can suck up worms like spaghetti. But right as we find our massive carnivorous snail, the rain hits us real hard. So we find shelter in a local hut and we grab a bit of lunch. The rain is in fact so hard that the local wildlife is even joining the party. A wicker bird is trying to hide from the rain in the shelter as well as trying to scavenge a few food from us. However, we are well behaved tourists and we know that feeding the wildlife is not advised. So he's leaving us empty handed. The way back to the van is literally us running through the rain. It was torrential. Unfortunately, because it was raining so hard, we didn't actually get to film much of the way back. But we do head back to the Barefoot Backpackers in Takaka, where we really need to dry out our clothes any way possible. Tonight is potluck dinner night at the Barefoot Backpackers where everyone cooks something and we all share the food together. It's a really awesome way to socialize with your fellow hostel mates and our lovely hosts as well. And the truth is that I'm always in for some awesome food. We are now making our way all the way up the Takat all the way up the Tataka Hill Tataka. All the way up the Tataka Hill All the way up the Takaka Hill Alright, so as you can see, there is really a ton more to see in the Abel Tasman National Park than just kind of a quick visit. And uh, that's kind of one of the questions that uh, Rudolf is having in a video today. Um, he's asking why has he never heard of any other things to do in the Abel Tasman National Park than just kayaking there. And although kayaking is definitely the most popular things to do around or in the Abel Tasman National Park, that's true, there is more to do there. Um, you know, there is this eco tour right here, which kind of saves you from the hassle of kayaking and get you to see all the sites and everything although kayaking is really fun as well um, there is also a great walk in the Abel Tasman National Park that you may have heard of um, Rudolph so it's called the Abel Tasman Great Walk we do have some videos about it on the channel as well and um, there is also some canyoning to do there there is an epic absolutely fantastic skydiving to do there as well so there is no shortage of amazing things to do there um, Check out some more videos coming up really soon. We're going to be doing the kayaking. We're going to be doing some hiking. So you're going to be able to see more of the national park as well. Um, and if you do want to chat with us to know everything there is to do everywhere, you can join us during one of our live sessions. It's happening at 8 a.m. New Zealand time every single Sunday. We're sitting on that couch over there and we're answering all your questions live for an entire hour. So feel free to join us, Rudolph, and we'll plan together an epic trip to New Zealand. And if your name is not Rudolph, you can also join us and come and plan a trip with the experts. In the meantime, you guys have a, a stellar day. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe because I have to tell you to do that. And uh, we see you in the next video. Bye-bye.